teaching science in a hybrid model. I've been doing the blended learning model for the last 10 years. It helps me differentiate from the needs of my students and incorporate technology in my classroom. If your district is moving to the hybrid model and you're wondering how you can still do science the way science is supposed to be done, well, I've got three ideas for you that's going to help you maximize the time you have with your students in the classroom, maximize technology at home, and show you how the station rotation model and the flip lesson model are perfect for this hybrid style. Idea one, maximize time in the classroom. Use classroom time for student collaboration, demonstrations, hands-on labs, online labs, and high-level thinking activities. Students can still have conversations, even at six feet apart. Doing individual hands-on labs. Consider inexpensive supplies that can be thrown away, like small paper cups, cotton balls, plastic spoons. Consider using items that can be easily and quickly cleaned and sanitized, like glass beakers, paper clips, and marbles. Have students wash their hands before doing the lab and again after doing the lab. Idea two, maximize technology time at home. Home is the perfect place to teach the basic information. Do reviews, do online labs, and take open notes assessments. They can go through a slide presentation or watch a video and take notes. They can play online review games or do a digital notebook for review. They can also do an online lab. Idea three, blended learning is perfect for the hybrid model. The station rotation model. You have a teacher-led station, a group collaboration station, and an online station. In the teacher-led station, you're gonna work with a small group. There's more individual time with each student, and you can differentiate the lesson to meet the needs of the students in your group. In the online station, this can be done at home. Students can do an online lab, a digital notebook, a website research, or a virtual tour or video. It should require very little teacher direction and support. Now group collaboration is gonna to have to be modified to digital group collaboration. You can do group slide presentations or a group research document. It is important to demonstrate how to have an academic conversation through a digital setting. Click on the link in the comments to read more about using the station rotation model in the classroom. The flipped lesson model. At home, they get the instruction and at school is where we reinforce it. They learn the basic at home, usually through a video. They interact with the video and take notes. You can use Edpuzzle to add checks for understanding in the video. Before class, they should take an assessment, which is a quick quiz to check their understanding. And this can be done online. 
The practicing and applying of the information is done in the classroom. You can split the class into two groups and review with one group who shows they don't understand it yet while allowing the other group to start applying the information. It's perfect for differentiation. Click on the link in the comments to read more about using the flipped model. Teaching science using the hybrid model. The top three ideas that will help you maximize your time in different learning environments. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.